I used to be hungry. There were days where I would stretch prayer to its limit. And my knees would hit the floor as my desperation bounced on heaven's door till the owner revealed himself. Days where my desire for his word spread like wildfire, shot up in my bones, hot on my tongue, consuming my whole life as a living sacrifice. I had an appetite as wide as the ocean of grace that swept me into his presence, making every minute of mine his for the taking. And with a deep longing, acknowledging him as vital as food, I sought him with all of me. I, I used to be hungry. I ate till I convinced myself I was full. So the sleep that comes after a meal arrived to carry a full fool like me, who like Peter couldn't watch and pray. And in my garden of Gethsemane, the enemy sowed tears. He sowed tears of business, pride, laziness, comfort, complacency, and pretense. He stole my gift of hunger, killed my appetite, and gradually destroyed my taste for the things of God. I heard a voice ask this cup to pass over me. My spirit was willing, but oh, oh, this body, this flesh, oh, so weak. I began to desire the miracles, but not the God of them. My Bible became an inconvenience. <laughs> Ooh. I found myself neither hot nor cold, just sitting on a fence. Hence my reluctance to forgive and speed in catching offense. Everything I had known started to smell like nonsense. <laughs> like the bread of life became stale. Maybe. Just maybe he didn't multiply the loaves and fish. Maybe the baskets were two instead of 12. Maybe 50, not 5,000. Maybe I had to earn his love, salvation, and forgiveness. Maybe no blood was shed. Maybe it was all a dream. I had tasted and seen that the Lord is good. But now my palate craved what was beyond the feast he had prepared for me. Oh... Oh, this is a revelation. There is a plague of drought in my land. Pharaoh, please let me go. Oh, oh. somebody, somebody tell me why.